Guys, what's going on? It's John at Gamester81. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Game Link, the NES Game Link for the Nintendo Play Choice 10 Arcade. This is what's behind me here. This is one of my favorite items I have in my gaming collection, actually. Uh, this is a dual screen version of the arcade. There's actually a single screen version, as well as like a tabletop version of Play Choice 10. This one, a lot of them were converted from like uh, Punch Out or arm wrestling uh, cabinets by Nintendo. And it was a kind of a promotional thing for Nintendo in the arcade so people can test out upcoming NES games. Now, a lot of the games for, the, in fact, all the games for the Play Choice 10 are proprietary, like, like they're different. You can't just plug in a normal NES cartridge. This is like one example. This is Contra for it. Uh, this is the Goonies, which is really cool. Goonies actually never came out for the NES in North America. Came out in Japan for the Famicom, but never came out in North America. Goonies 2, of course, hit the, the systems here. Um, but you can see the different size comparisons. Uh, you can't obviously plug this into an NES. You couldn't plug uh, the NES games into this. Nintendo did that intentionally for, for arcade owners, so they just wouldn't go out and get uh, the cartridges. Now, what's really cool about this thing, the, the NES Game Link, this is an adapter that will allow you to play NES carts on this arcade. Uh, and this is the latest version of it, and there's actually two versions available. I'll put a link below with more information in case you guys are curious on checking it out and, and getting one yourself. Uh, there's a version where you actually can customize the lettering or the messages on the top of the screen, which is pretty sweet. Um, and this, this is really easy to hook up. I'll show you how everything hooks up itself. What the advantages of using NES carts, of course, opposed to just these, these uh, games right here, is that you can have multi, you can have ones that uh, have like flash carts. You can put a whole bunch of ROMs on there and play it on your arcade. It will work with a power pack uh, flash cart. It will not work with the EverDrive flash cart. I don't have a power pack flash cart, but I do have a Super Games 151 cartridge. So let's plug this in. I'll show you how it works. We'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Here is a closer look at the board itself. These are where the games would plug into or do plug into. I can hold up 10 different games, hence why it's called the Play Choice 10. Here's an example. This is the Goonies. Uh, I'll plug that into. I'm not quite sure how many games came out for the system for the arcade. I have about 20 of them myself, uh, but you can just plug in like so. Um, and yeah, pretty, pretty easy. That's one thing I love about the system. It's very easy to operate. I'm not a technician. I'm not a huge uh, arcade guy when it comes to repairing stuff, but I can definitely get this. And that's what's nice about um, the actually uh, the NES game link is the cartridges. Let me just show you. It just plugs in like so. So it's facing up, you just plug it in, make sure it fits like so. And you would just plug it in like this. And it's good to go. Now it would basically, it, it sits here uh, on top, kind of the game would balance here. Okay, but pretty easy. And all you would do is just plug this board in the back of the arcade and you're getting ready to go. So let's go ahead and do that and take a look. So basically there's a harness in the back and I just put that board into the harness. I, I make the connections really simple. It says NES Game Link. So I select my game, hit enter. Now it's cool. It says now you're playing with power. This is the thing you actually can customize on the top if you want to do that. If you have a certain uh, style, insert your original Nintendo Entertainment System game pack. Uh, what I, I had an earlier version of this Game Link, but uh, that version didn't have any display on the very top. So it's really cool that they've They've added that. Um, I've got unlimited time. Normally it's set to like five minute play uh, if you, for every quarter, but mine's set to free play. So let's go and start. So we've got all my different games here. Hit left, right, I can select different games. Oh, this is a uh, classic. Let's pick a classic one here for you. Oh, this is a classic. Batman by Sunsoft. I love the classic Sunsoft games. So it's really cool to play this on an arcade. I mean, it's really neat to, to play upright on an arcade. I got my Place Race 10 uh, years ago. This game's really, really hard. I love, 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 love music in this game. It's freaking awesome. And I'm doing terrible. Now, if you go to Reset, it's going to actually reset the game, not the actual Batman. It's not going to reset uh, the game link. Well, actually, I take that back. You go back to the NES game link and you start. And it's going to go back to the Batman. Now, to, in order to reboot the whole cartridge again, unfortunately, you have to do a, a hard reset, meaning you have to turn off the system and on again. So let's check out some other games I got on here. All right, so I have uh, 
I know it's kind of hard to see the list of the games from the camera angle. I apologize for that. There's some unusual, there's some harder to find games on here. Felix the Cat, that's a good one, kind of an uncommon game. Here's a fun game to play on an arcade. So you guys can recognize it. Capcom, what game is it? Mighty Final Fight. Another uncommon game for your Cody guy and Hagar. Hagar, I think that's how you pronounce it, but kind of a, it's an exclusive NES game or Famicom game. It didn't come out obviously on any other console, but it's a really fun beat em up. If you like Final Fight, I would definitely uh, recommend you check it out. As far as 151 in cart, if you guys are interested in checking out that, in that, that's on uh, uh, Etsy, Etsy or Etsy.com. Uh, uh, check it out. You can check it out on eBay as well. Um, I got it for fairly cheap, I think less than, you know, 30, 40 bucks. But thanks for watching, guys. Let me know, let me know what you guys think. Uh, please like this video. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. Take care and game on. First off, guys, thank you so much for watching. Also, please subscribe. That means a lot. And if you want to stay in contact, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I also have a website, gamestreety1.com, and I have t-shirts available to help support the show as well. And those are available at chopchopgoods.com.